Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura and in today's video I'm going to talk about five, five simple steps on how to purchase your own home. Okay, this is the checklist that you need to go over before thinking on buying a house. So if you have these five things, then you're all set and ready to go. Go start looking for a real estate agent or loan officer and get your house. Okay, so the first thing that they're going to ask you for is, are you working? Yes, I am. And you're going to take them your check stubs, okay? Second, have you been doing taxes? Yes, I have for the past two years, sis, okay? You're going to go take them tax returns, okay? And then third, do you have a checkings or savings account? Yes, I have. So you take them your, your bank statements, okay? And then four, do you have money for down payment or, or any, any money saved? Yes, I have. You're going to go take them your tax return. Okay, sis? Don't worry. It, it's all settled. You are settled for 2019. You can do it. I believe in you. You need your own house, your own space. Stop renting an apartment because you could do it. And then last but not least is five. Step number five, a credit score. How is your credit? Hmm. Good. As long as you have a 580 and above credit score, you qualify. Um, I'm not a real estate agent. Um, a little disclaimer. I'm not a real estate agent. I'm not a loan officer. I'm not working for anybody. I'm just giving you guys uh, my, my little advice or my knowledge that I have um, because this is what worked for me. And it might work for you. If you have all these five steps, it's going to work for you. So just to be like, 2019, I'm buying a house. Here I come. Y te vas a comprar tu casa. You just have to have like a goal in life and, and feel accomplished, that you accomplished something in life. But of course, the better your credit score, the more a uh, better deal you're going to get. So... With that being said, I hope you guys wrote this down. Income verification, your last two tax returns, bank statements, down payment in case you don't qualify for a zero down payment. You're going to have to pay for closing costs and then um, and all that stuff. And then a good credit score. It, ha it doesn't have to be like really, really in your 700s, but a good, I would say like a... 640 and above that way you can get a better deal so i hope you guys um enjoyed this video and learned something from it and i hope you guys use it and and really buy your own home it's 2019 guys let's get it together don't forget to like this video subscribe and comment down below if you have any questions i'll be more than happy to help you bye guys